Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. no? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Caitlin. Oh, oh, did amazing. Did you just get those nice ones? <laughs> <laughs> Noah. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it Say. Let it. Say. Let it. Say. Yeah. Dang, I'm so excited. But I have one question. What's your question? Are you going to be a pastor or a minister? Good question. I don't know, but it is all in God's hands. Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again. And it starts right now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. It's a Monday, September 9th, 2024. Well, as I'm driving into work like all of you, I am saying to myself, this is another beautiful morning. It is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Well, the sun is shining here in the east. It's rising in the east. And uh, we are getting ready to just embark on another week. I uh, hope everybody had an awesome weekend. I, you know, I had a decent weekend. I got to be honest, I'm a little tired, but that's what happens when you're a parent, right? You're just running all over the place, running a lot of errands. Did a lot on Friday. Holy cow, did I do a lot. Uh, got my car re-inspected. Well, got two cars inspected. Uh, let's see, I paid the taxes. Uh, let's see, what else? Paid the electricity bill. Water bill came in. Yeah, I got the appointment for the boiler set up, getting ready for the fall. Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. Are you broke? I'm broke. You know, and that segues right into today's episode. A lot of times, you know, when we get paid, we get a little upset or frustrated because it feels as if when we work, we're working just to pay off all the bills and we really have a little amount for ourselves. Sometimes we find ourselves not even able to treat ourselves to do the little things that we want to do. It could be buying an ice cream cone, maybe even buying a Happy Meal, or just going out and taking a drive, but you really can't because you got to save on gas too, right? We have all dealt with all this before, all of us, and a lot of us count down the days for tax season because, quite honestly, we want that extra paycheck. But one thing I want to make sure you're aware is we all have to be grateful for what we have. Things could be a lot worse. If you're working and bills are getting paid and you have a roof over your head, you have to be grateful for that. Mind you, I understand firsthand what it feels like to have to work X amount of jobs to pay off all the bills. I know how that feels. I know what it feels like to live paycheck by paycheck. I also know what it feels like to maybe even try and manipulate and figure out a way to pay one bill while asking for an extension on another. I have been there. But throughout it all, I found myself being the most happiest, believe it or not, and I'm only speaking for myself, when I was in debt. And I'll tell you why. Because it was working hard to treat myself that when I finally got the payoff, when I finally got to do that because I saved, it felt as if I had accomplished something. I achieved something. I'm not saying that all of you should feel that way or, you know, deal with that and go through that. But I found myself always trying to find the positive in any negativity. And that could happen right there off the bat with bills. Let's face it. Money is the root of all evils. And we can all argue over money. We can all argue over paying bills. But we have to remember to trust in each other, trust in ourselves, trust in God to know that no matter how hard things may get, there's always going to be a way. There's always going to be money that does come in when you least expect it. Just like God's love for us continues to come in 
over and over and over again. See, God loves us and God believes in us. God trusts us. God never leaves our side. You know what God's intention is? God's intention is to make sure that each and every one of us do that, do all that we can to be helpful, to be guided, to help others. You know, when I say to you, let's do one random act of kindness at a time, as I hit a speed bump, sorry. Um, I mean that. I really do. I mean that we all should concentrate on doing whatever it is that we can to be successful, but more importantly, to do what's best for others and to not allow others to steal that joy. Allow us the opportunity to find ways to be happy. Smiling and laughing will always keep us on top. We'll always keep our mindset and our hearts thinking of the good rather than the bad. So today, if you're one of those people that are about to get paid this week and you discover already that you're not going to make your, you know, your weekly adventure to the ice cream stand or you're not going to be able to get the extra slice of pizza and you're not going to do the things that you want to do, I say this, find a way to be happy. Find a way to understand that God is with you all the time and he is here to guide you and keep you and put you in the right frame of mind. See, God loves each and every one of us and will do everything in his power to make sure that we are not alone, that we will not do things alone. God will always find a way to prevent us from finding all the negativity that's happening in this world and fighting it, and fighting it to the best of our ability. So, where do we go from today? Where do we go from here? Well, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to ask the good Lord above to be with us, to guide us, to keep us at arm's bay, and to keep us strong, strong and understanding, and to know that with us and through us, everything and anything is possible. So, As you go about your day today, always remember that God will always have your best interest at heart. And no matter what happens in life, no matter how hard you think you are struggling, no matter how many times you think your day has gotten worse, this is what you're going to do. You're going to sit back and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you give me. Thank you for continuing to be a part of me. Don't let me struggle, Lord. I put my faith and trust in you. Because with you and through you, everything is possible. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget to have faith. Let it begin. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to How Faithful Begin. We'll be back tomorrow.